What's up? Welcome to Abundant Acres. I am Mark Anthony. In today's episode, we are filling up these 30 gallon grow bags to get ready to plant potatoes. Today is St. Patrick's Day. I have my green on. And we're celebrating an Irish tradition by planting potatoes on St. Patrick's Day in order to kick off the whole growing season. So right now these are really big grow bags. I'm going to fill them up with some newspaper and some other compost. So come on, let's get started. Right now I'm just trying to create a layer at the bottom of just newspaper because I'm gonna put some sticks and leaves on top of that. Once again, my goal right now is to fill this bag most of the way without using a whole bunch of expensive potting soil. Now that we have our layer of newspaper at the bottom, we're going to layer that with a bunch of smaller sticks and twigs that I saved from my tree pruning job last year. I'm gonna put these sticks on top of here and then we will layer that with some compost, peat moss, and some other good soil. You never know what you're gonna find in nature. Earthworms are so good for the ground, they help maintain a natural ecosystem. Thanks little homie. That's why I always wear my gloves because you never know what you're gonna find. Sometimes it's an earthworm, sometimes it's a spider, sometimes it's a centipede or something like that. So we're gonna let him do his thing while we do ours. We're out here in the garden. This is the area where I grew my potatoes last year. Unfortunately, they didn't grow very well. The leaves grew really tall and I thought that I was gonna have a great harvest. But as I came to find out, I was growing in very compacted clay. I learned recently that clay is actually great for planting because it has a lot of minerals and it also retains water. However, it gets really compacted and that creates a big challenge for the roots to grow through, especially for potatoes since they are tubers which grow in the ground which is Satan's realm, like, <laughs> according to people back in the, you know, back in the day, you know. Anything underground was considered the realm of Satan and Pluto. But if you ask me, I think it's heaven on earth because I love my potatoes. Here you can see our potting mixture that we are getting ready to mix. And this is gonna go on the top layer above our yard scraps, twigs, and newspaper filling at the bottom. So here we have the nice happy frog soil, peat moss. This is great for helping retain water to make sure that the potatoes stay moist and don't dry out. And then underneath, we have our compost layer. So let's give this a mix and then fill our grow bag. Cool, now that we have the compost mixed up, we're getting ready to top off our 30 gallon grow bag. We put this into there, call it a wrap. Cool, we did it. So we have our nice top layer of nice fertile soil. It's nice and fluffy, it doesn't stick together. And that's the mixture of 
compost, happy frog, permalite, and last but not least, that peat moss. So I really can't wait to get our potatoes started in here. We're gonna plant those tomorrow. So we still have a little bit of room here, but that's cool because as the potatoes grow, we need to do what's called hilling them. So as time goes on, we'll put more of this nice soil on top of it. We'll probably even add a layer of dried leaves to add, to act as a mulch. And that's gonna help retain moisture. Even though potatoes love sunlight, we still need to do our best to prevent them from drying out and staying at a nice even temperature. I have two more to do, but I'll go ahead and take care of that at another time. I'm getting pretty hungry, so I think it's time to go have some lunch. Hi, I'm Mark Anthony. Thank you so much for checking out this video, learning how to fill a grow bag on the cheap. We're changing the world one seed at a time. Peace.